Last night, we got very excited to stay in the college football world. There was an offense coordinator who's the son of the head coach out in Iowa. Yeah. And boy, we've been talking about this guy's production and how bad he is at his job uh -huh. for some time. We've actually said nepotism is on display in Iowa, and the fact that it is still existing shows that nepotism will always be a ruler of decision-making. So Ference has been very much underperforming as the offensive coordinator for his dad, Kirk Ference's Iowa Hawkeyes. They were number 131 in the entire FBS last night, college football last year, out of like 132 teams offensively. Their defense was great. Their punter's incredible. Iowa's a great place. It's a powerful school with a lot of history. The offense being that terrible is unacceptable. Who's running it? Oh, the coach's son. Oh. Ah, well, Kirk, you're beloved by all of Iowa, but maybe that'll change if you don't make the right decision and get this guy the hell out of here for the good of the program, for the good of the state. So now they rework his contract. Going to have to score 25 points every single game, and then you'll get paid a little bit more. Incentivize professionalism. It happens to players all the time in the NFL and the NBA and the world knows about it. Now it's happening at Iowa. I think it was a good answer. We appreciate that. Yeah. Bring in a transfer quarterback. Okay, right. we got a guy now. He crashes and goes through the 25-point uh, barrier one time, first time, mm -hmm. and then he had a press conference, we thought, <laughs> yes. addressing the entire situation that hit the Internet last night. And this is what he said in this press conference we saw on the Internet last night. You all have had fun with this 25-point obsession, and I get it. I do. But if I'm not mistaken, we just dropped 41 on Saturday. So maybe it's time to grab a hold of your little step ladders and go ahead and <laughs> climb out of my ass for a while. <laughs> so, <laughs> greatest answer yeah, so good. of all time. Yeah. I hear that video for the first time. Dig sends it into the group. Yep. <laughs> I see the video, and I've been pretty loud about this guy uh -huh. yeah. on College Game Day and on this show just because, like, I love Iowa. I have a lot of friends in Iowa that want to Iowa. The team should be good. They're not because of this guy. It's like, yo, to hell with this guy. I watch it. I'm like, I love this guy. The man. This is my guy. I am now a big fan. Turns out it's AI. Yeah, it come is. on. That's not real. Son of a. Oh, that's fake. That's, that's a deep fake. That's a cool one. That's where we're at right now, though. We need to know that. Yeah, that scary. That can change your entire feeling about a human being. Yep. One 11 second video made by a fake thing made me loving this guy. Mm -hmm. Not real. So if I'm Brian Ferentz, just like if I was Drake. You know, AI Drake came out and dropped like three bangers. Yeah, so good. Like old Drake beats with whole thing, and it was like sounded like it was Drake. It was not Drake, but the songs were. Flame. Loved him. We're like, hey, Drake, this is what you do now. You just take that song. That's your song. Thanks to AI for making it. Brian Ferentz at his next press conference needs to walk out here, yeah. drop that line, mm -hmm. and then he needs to say, you know, when my time is here is over and it has all come to pass, I hope they bury me upside down mm -hmm. so the world can kiss my ass and then just walk off. If he turns full heel, I will love it. But yeah, that was fake. But I was pumped up about it. It's hard for me could not come out and could he come out and claim it though and be like, hey, you know, that may have been AI, but that's exactly what I was thinking. I'm the Absolutely. one that made the AI. That'd be cool. Yeah. What if he said that? Yeah, I, I love commissioned it. that AI. I commissioned it. And I wrote the script for that. We got to watch it though. If that's how accurate AI oh, yeah. is, that's scary. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. You should hear the presidents playing Call of Duty together. It, it is pretty gut wrenching. <laughs> well, Who's the best? Who's winning? Which president? Well, I think which, they're all yeah, losing, president? but it's just AI voicing all of them as if they were talking to each other through a like Call Lincoln? of Duty game. No, no, no. Like it's coming. Biden. It's coming. It is coming. AI's coming it, hard. It's yeah. here. Coming hard all over. It certainly is. Got me to like Brian Ferentz. Yeah. Yep. Well, pump the brakes on that. But yeah, if that would have been real, <laughs> I would have been I would have been full steam ahead on the Brian Ferentz train.